using the AMD Radeon software and uh, and we will do some benchmarking using uh, Heaven Benchmark version 4 so once you install Heaven Benchmark 4 uh, you will have this uh, you can choose your preset like um, basic it's very be very uh, light version on your uh, for your graphics card and if you are if you want to test on a extreme settings you can use the extreme one so in both these modes you cannot uh, change the options here so let me uh, go to the custom mode and then we will set the direct text to 11 quality ultra tessellation extreme uh, both these options disabled anti aliasing we can uh, two times eight maximum and uh, resolution I will set a small resolution so that we can see a small window here so if uh, so I am using the balanced uh, version which uh, which is which should be the default version of your uh, global Watman in order to visit the global Watman you can press home then go to the gaming then go to global settings then visit the global watman so this screen you can see here so let me run this uh, heaven version 4 so it will take some time to uh, load the screen okay so now we are seeing um, the video playing and right now it is not benchmarking it is just playing uh, scenes so as you can see here we, we are seeing the uh, different values which I have set in uh, MSI afterburner and um, our ideal temperature is around maybe 50 and um, you can see the GPU frequency around toggling between 600 to 1500 range and memory is at 800 megahertz so uh, let me run the benchmark using the default uh, settings first in order to run that you have to click the benchmark uh, on the top left corner of the screen so as you can see there are 26 total scenes here and uh, it will take some time to play that so now you can see uh, the benchmark is being done and our score is 3369 so uh, we can save this number now let us do some uh, tuning using the custom mode so enable the custom mode and uh, so once you enable custom mode the settings will not be applied immediately unless you click the apply button so you can reset also like it will reset your settings uh, of the global watman so let me go to custom mode again and now you will just fine tune start to fine tune so uh, the first thing that you can do is you can increase your power limit and it will um, help the GPU to achieve greater clock speed and withdraw more power if needed so as you can see if we increase the power limit our current draw is increasing so by default so if it will not be happening immediately unless you click the apply button so let's click apply button and it's completely safe to do this nothing uh, negative will happen on your GPU so as and when uh, your GPU will need more power it will consume more power otherwise it will remain idle at low uh, you know power limits and voltages so that is the first thing you can do then the next thing uh, we can do is we can come down to the GPU frequency so there are two sections there there is one is GPU core speeds and then there is memory core speed 
so let us first increase the memory uh, speed so by default is it's 800 megahertz as you can see here in the heavens benchmarking it's showing 800 megahertz, megahertz. so let us increase this to um, say 930 you can go up to 950 also but then after that and beyond that also but it depends on a graphics card for me i was getting the stable at around 930 950 range and i then we will click the apply button and as you can see here it will it should go to 950 930 sorry so okay so we are able to do 930 now earlier it was 800 megahertz then the second thing that you can do is we can come to the GPU core speed and make the voltages manual so by default the maximum is uh, from 800 to 1200 range for Vega cards uh, so I'm going to under volt it uh, to 1050 and then we will uh, step back this also you can set any numbers so it doesn't matter much but don't set too high numbers if you set too high your system will become unstable and what will happen is uh, it's completely uh, it the, uh, the radiance settings uh, software will automatically reset your profile to default if if you put some wrong value so it's uh, uh, it's completely safe but don't push too much high limits on the voltages so as you can see you can set it uh, on any range between 800 to 1050 range you can set any uh, however you want the graph to be uh, also we will try to increase the f okay so let's see let's first apply this so as you can see notice here the GPU uh, our voltages are at 11 something 70 1150 and temperature is 66 so let's apply and see how it performs okay so now as you can see we should not uh, go beyond 1050 on the display here. it will not go beyond that because our maximum limit is 1050 here in the wattman also as you can see the earlier temperature which was around 63 65 now it has 10 degree reduced on the gpu temperature and it has become cool uh, cooler to around about 55 56 55 to 60 range so almost like 5 to 10 degree temperature reduction has happened here on the GPU so now if you want to play around with the frequency so either you can set it to dynamic or automatic so I find it uh, you can try different settings here which which suits you but for me I prefer to go by percentage wise so for my system I was able to get the frequency to up to 3% stable 3 to 5% actually it was stable so as you can see right now frequency of GPU is around 1400 something 1500 so we will click we will apply 3% frequency and see how much boost we are getting okay so now our uh, speeds is around so let's uh, 1500 so so let's cross check all the settings here okay so then the fan speed so we can set the fan speed also so let it make let's make it manual so right now it is at around 3000 rpm and temperature is around 60 degree of the gpu so let us increase the fan speed make a f better fan curve what we can do something like you know like graph 
let's say it can go the fan speed can go maximum up to 90 percent so at 75 degree temperature when the graphics card reach it it will go to 90 percent of this rpm and um, so and on 65 degree centigrade it will be 61 percent rpm then on about 55 it will be 45 percent rpm uh, so you can increase or decrease this curve uh, depending on how silent you want your PC to be. It's completely safe. It is just we are playing with the speed of the fan here. So the more is the RPM, the more cooling uh, will be for your GPU. So we will click apply button. Okay, we will see yeah so this uh, memory voltage once you enable the memory control voltage for the core GPU right this option will automatically be enabled and by default it will be 950 uh, I will advise not to play with this voltage because uh, if you play this if you try to increase or decrease your system will instantly become unstable that is at least uh, that happened with my uh, system so let's leave this as uh, at default value 950 frequency you can inc uh, inc try to increase as much as you want and uh, see how your system behaves so for me in my case it was 930 megahertz so okay now we have applied all the settings and uh, everything looks good so let us run the benchmark again Okay, so our uh, benchmarking is done and uh, we have been able to achieve this score. So last time it was like around uh, 3369. So around about 100 points more we are able to achieve using these settings. So you can play around with the settings. Just make sure that uh, you can increase the frequency as much as you would like but your system will become unstable and so Watman will automatically reset your settings if something is not stable for voltages I would advise not to go beyond the 1200 uh, value which was by default and for the memory uh, again you can increase the frequency and test your stability but to keep the voltages at uh, 950 volt and for the fan curve you can play around uh, depending on how much noise your system is getting and you can keep the power limit to 100 percent uh, 50 percent um, it's completely safe so in case if someone is not uh, is a little bit afraid to apply the manual overclocking you can always apply the auto underworld GPU settings here once you go to the custom you can go to the auto underworld GPU so this will uh, apply automatically an under undervolting you see so all these options are disabled right now So we are still getting that one it is less than 1050 volts and the frequency is around 1500 but our memory is uh, yeah it's is it applied okay so it says applied and it says uh, the minimum GPU is 800 and the maximum GPU voltage should be 1200 millivolt So as you can see the our memory clock speed is around uh, 800 uh, GPU is 800 to 1200 frequency is around 1550 and you can again run, run the benchmarking to check how it looking so guys this was uh, just an overview a basic one um, in case you have any questions please uh, feel free to ask i will try to answer them as much as uh, i am aware of it thank you very much